Well, hi everyone. Welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, introduction less introductory lesson into Illustrator. We're going to be creating some flat vector art uh, with the goal of learning a few new tools, some uh, quality of life improvements. Uh, so let's kind of get started. So I'm at my new document uh, section here, and I'm just going to make a really quick print document. I'm going to base it on the letter sizing, and I'm going to click Create. All right, we're gonna load up our new canvas here, our new artboard, and let's get started. So uh, I figured we'll kind of start off by making a very simple uh, pine tree. Uh, so I'm gonna go into my rectangle tool there. Let's get rid of the stroke. Uh, I always recommend getting rid of the stroke uh, whenever you're doing a flat vector art style. And let's set it to a nice pine greeny color here. Okay, let's start by drawing a simple square. I'm gonna hold down shift to keep the proportion set. And there we are. Actually, it's a little bit too light, so let's uh, let's darken that green. There, that's a little bit better there. Okay, so we have our uh, our starting square now, and now let's go over to our direct selection tool, the second of our two arrows. I'm going to grab this top anchor point, I'm going to click once, and I'm going to drag the anchor point to the center. It's going to tell me I'm at my center point there, and we're going to grab this anchor point now. We're going to drag it to that center point there as well. Okay, so we have the start of our uh, of our standard flat vector pine tree here. Uh, I'm actually going to just squish that down a little bit. So with my selection tool, I'm just going to lower that down a little bit right there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So I want to make some copies now of this shape. I don't want to have to remake it all over again. Um, and uh, of course, you could just go edit, copy, edit, paste if you wanted to, or control C and control V. Uh, but a nice, really handy, quick shortcut key is if you hold down the Alt button, uh, and then with the selection tool, you can just click and you can drag up your shape and it'll make a copy of it. Okay, so there we got the start of our pine tree here, but I actually want to scale this second one down so it's kind of going up in a pyramid style shape. So if I was just to go to the uh, selection tool and try to scale this tree, I could hold down shift to keep the proportions the same. But if you notice, it scales it from the bottom left hand corner, right, or the bottom right hand corner, kind of the opposite side to however you are uh, scaling your object. So what we can do. Once again, if we hold down the Alt key and the Shift key, we can scale from center. Okay, and that's kind of what we're wanting to do. We want to scale from the center, which allows us to keep the center point the same, and we can create a much smoother scale there. Excellent. And then let's take this one. Let's drag it up one more time. Let's hold Alt and Shift, scale that from center. And let's actually add one more at the bottom here. And we'll scale this one slightly larger, Alt and Shift to scale from center. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So we have the uh, the start of our pine tree here. Uh, and now let's just add the trunks. Gonna go back to my rectangle tool. Let's select a brown here. And let's add some kind of trunk into our tree. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's center it. Excellent. And then let's take our tree trunk, right click on it, arrange, and send to back. Okay, so now we have a nice little pine tree here that we've created. And uh, let's, uh, let's actually group this together, okay? So I'm going to, with my selection tool, click drag box, let's select our entire tree, right click, and we are going to group that tree together. Uh, now whenever I'm making objects and, uh, and uh, designs for a flat vector art, I like to actually take a master copy and just kind of leave it off to the side in our artboard here, just off the artboard edges. Uh, anything that's outside of the artboard won't appear in your final copy. And then if I wanted to bring the tree into my scene, I could just hold down Alt, and we could bring some trees in while keeping our original off to the side. So that's kind of best practice for that is keep your designs uh, on the outset of the artboard there. Um, you know what, let's add a little bit more detail to our tree to kind of just make it uh, pop a little bit more, add some, uh, add some definition here. So let's, uh, let's ungroup our tree here and I'm gonna select my rectangle tool and uh, let's select our green color here. So our green color be down there, let's go to our rectangle tool and Let's do a slightly darker green. Just like that. So let's zoom in here. And let's draw a slightly darker green like that. And then if we go to our direct selection tool, we can create that look there. And let's hold down Alt. Go back to our selection tool, hold down Alt, and drag this up. And go back to our direct selection tool. And just line up all these anchor points with the other anchor, the existing anchor points there. 
you hold down shift with the direct selection tool, it's going to keep the uh, horizontal straight. So by doing that, we added a little bit more depth to our tree. It looks like the layers are kind of overlapping, creating that a shadow effect there. Excellent, I'm happy with that. So now let's select our tree, right click, and group that together. So now we have our perfect tree off to the side there. Um, okay, so let's bring, a, uh, let's bring the tree actually into our scene and uh, let's add some ground and a sky. So I'm gonna go to a rectangle tool here and let's just add some uh, green grass for the ground here. arrange that, arrange, send to back, and then let's add some sky, some nice blue sky up here. And then let's select on that sky, arrange, send to back. Okay, so we got the kind of the start of our scene here. We could uh, hold down Alt to drag out another tree and maybe scale that one a little bit bigger, put one kind of over here. Right, and maybe one, uh, put one back there right-click, arrange, uh, send backwards, and I can press that send backwards button a few times. There we go, and let's scale that one down a little bit smaller there. There we go, this one needs to be a bit smaller. Perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so we got a nice little uh, forest on the go there. Um, but what we need to add now is uh, we're going to grow the uh, the natural fruit that does grow in pine trees. Uh, of course, you know that's the, the banana. So let's create a very simple banana now. So on the rectangle tool here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to the ellipse tool and let's pick a nice banana -y yellow. There we go. So I'm going to create my banana kind of off to the side here. Let's create it next to our tree here. And I'm going to start by drawing a banana. Uncanny. Uh, but let's go to our direct selection tool here now. Let's grab this anchor point, kind of push that in. Let's take this anchor point, drag that down. This anchor point here, and drag that over. Take this handle here. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit more of a banana -y shape now. Take these anchors and just drag them over a bit more. And then we can stretch this banana out a little bit and make it a little bit more squat. Excellent. So that's a good little banana shape. Uh, let's add the, uh, the stem on the banana, the handle, if you will. Uh, so let's pick a nice brown for that. Draw that stem there. Let's move it onto here. Let's rotate it. It's a bit too big, so let's uh, scale it down a little bit. Rotate it a bit more, and let's actually uh, round that stem by grabbing these uh, these points here with our selection tool. And a little bit smaller. Perfect. Okay, so let's add uh, let's add a shadow to the banana. Very much how we added the shadow there, just to give it a little bit more depth, so it's not quite as flat. So I'm going to take this banana here. I'm going to hold down Alt. And I'm just going to create a copy of it, as you can see, off to the side here. Um, and then I'm going to take that banana, and I'm going to double-click on that yellow color, and I'm going to darken that yellow. Okay, excellent. Then we're going to take this thing, arrange, send backward. Perfect. And then we can take that. Uh... Okay, so that's a pretty good banana there. So I'm actually quite happy with that. So let's select this banana now, right-click on it, and we're going to group it. And now we can start bringing our bananas into our scene uh, to populate our forest. Because let's hold down Alt, and now we can start bringing some of our bananas in. All right, whoops. Zoom in a little bit there. That's a bit too big, so let's scale that down. All right, bring a few more bananas into this tree here. onto this tree that's these bananas be too big there so let's scale that down and of course if you wanted to you could uh, flip some of those bananas you either flip it just by grabbing that box there or if you wanted to 
um, another way you can kind of flip an object. If you right click on it, go to transform, and then you can reflect it. And you can always flip it that way as well. Excellent. Now let's scale these bananas down. So I'm just constantly holding down Alt and uh, dragging copies of these bananas. Make them a little, little smaller. Let's transform, reflect that one. Reflected that the wrong way, but that's okay. Let's rotate it like that. There we go. We got a nice little uh, banana forest there growing on the pine trees, as uh, as you would expect. But bananas don't grow well in the daytime. They actually grow best at moonlight. That's the best time to actually pick them. So let's take our background here, and let's create kind of more of a, a nighttime scene. Okay, that's better a better lighting situation for for uh, for us to harvest our bananas. But we need to have a moon. Uh, bananas are best picked with a uh, a waning gibbous moon, of course. Um, so let's kind of create a, uh, a simple moon here so we can know it's a good time to be harvesting these bananas from our pine trees. Um, so you might just think, well, we can just go to our ellipse tool and uh, kind of make a, a, a moon very similar to how we made our bananas. So we could, uh, you know, go like this. That's a bit too, uh, a bit too bright. So let's make a little bit more of a pale moon there. Um, so if we take that moon there, go to our direct selection tool and uh, go like that and okay voila our moon's done but that just looks like a uh, different colored banana so we don't want to do that we're going to use a different way to kind of create our moon here and we're going to do this using a tool called the shape builder now i actually am just going to quickly change my workspace here um hmm no actually you know what i will keep it on uh, i will keep it on painting um but uh, in order to use the shape builder, we build the shape builder by having multiple different shapes and we're using the overlapped areas in those shapes to create new shapes. It builds shapes, hence the name. So I'm gonna take this moon here and I'm gonna create a copy of it. And just to kind of illustrate what's going on, I'm gonna take this moon and I'm gonna change its color uh, just to a red there. And what you can kind of see is, uh, we can see this shape here on the left which is the shape of the moon that we're going to want, right? That waning gibbous moon there, best time to harvest the bananas. So how it works with the shape builders, we're gonna select both of our shapes here, and then we're gonna to go to the shape builder tool here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna click on that, and you can see we can hover over these different areas, and you left-click on the area of the shape you wanna create. So I left-clicked on here, it's gonna create that. Now it did turn it red, but we can just quickly again turn that back to a moon color. Double click there, let's bring a nice moony color there. And now I can take this moon, hold down Alt, and drag it into our sky. Excellent, those bananas will be ripe and not sour. Excellent, so let's take that, delete that, put our original moon there off to the side of the artboard. Um, let's just do one more thing into our scene here. Let's, uh, let's add some nice clouds, okay? We're gonna use the shape builder for that. So I'm gonna select a nice gray here. And I'm just gonna start drawing some nice clouds here. And I'm kind of creating what's gonna be a cloud. I don't like this one at the top here, so let's get rid of that one there. Move that one around. And let's take this one and copy it kind of like that. Copy this one down here. Move that one up a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we have a cloud there, and then I'm gonna select this entire cloud. I'm gonna go to my shape builder here, and I'm just gonna hold down left click, and I'm just gonna start to drag it through this. And as you can see, it's gonna add all these elements into my shape now. Just make sure you get them all. Once you're done, left click. And now we have one unified shape here that I can kind of bring into our scene. Uh, so let's see, we'll put one over there, scale it down. Oops. Da, 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 da. Ignore that. Call it off to the side, as we were, should be doing that anyways. Let's scale it down a little bit. Let's hold down Alt, create a new cloud. Let's right-click, transform, reflect. Or it's reflected on the vertical. And let's have it scale it down a little bit, kind of make it blocking the moon. Uh, that looks nice. And actually, let's lower the opacity on these clouds to about uh, 60% there. And let's do the same for that cloud. Let's do 60%. Uh, and then you can kind of see through the clouds a little bit. The moon's kind of high up in the clouds. 60 is a little bit too low. Let's uh, let's do 75, make a little adjustment there. Excellent. Well, that looks pretty good. We've got a nice nighttime scene there, perfect for harvesting bananas. So uh, uh, grab your uh, banana satchel and uh, head on out. We will see you all later.